One, two. I'm Porter, gonna beat you too. I don't know. We're still pretty far ahead. What'd you get, Port? I passed Port. What'd you get, Port? What color? Two, two yellows. yellows. One, two. Can you move your piece here, Porter? All right, Grace, it's your turn. No, no, it's, it's our, our turn. turn. We got a blue. Blue. We move right here. All right, Grayson, it's your turn. You got a yellow. <laughs> Good job. Mr. is sleeping. What else is new? The boys are playing. What are you guys doing? Playing with uh, the Legos. Grayson's building Legos. What are you building, Gray? A house. House. And Porter, what are you building? I'm building the boxes. Mmm. Grayson. Porter, you're not building the boxes. You're building the Mac Builder. Grayson got this toy from Anthony's grandma uh, for his birthday. It's called Mag Builders, and it's like magnetic pieces that go together. The boys really like them, especially Porter. Like, it's something easy he can build because they are all just magnetic and click together. And Grayson got lots of Legos for his birthday, and he loves Legos. Loves building Legos. And then we've got Felix sleeping in the swing. And like I said, Avery's napping. Look how sweet she is. Grayson had preschool today. How was preschool, Gray? Good. Good? What did you learn about? With this need to go mama. Worms and eggs. Worms and eggs. Worms and eggs, <laughs> all right. And what, are you guys matching in your shirts? Yeah. What are you guys both wearing? Pluto shirts. Pluto? Yeah. Woohoo. Our pants look different. Yeah, your pants are a little different, huh? That's okay. So we're just chilling out here. Grayson had a good day at preschool. And we went and got groceries today. And now the boys are just playing. I'm about to put Porter down for a nap, which will be nice. And then tonight, Anthony and I have kindergarten info night at Grayson's new school, so I'm really excited. Um, I've not been to his new school before. When we moved to this new house, he got assigned to a new elementary school, and we haven't checked it out yet. It's like five minutes away. It's not like in our neighborhood like our old school was with our old house. So we're gonna go check it out and I guess learn about kindergarten. I don't know, I've never been to a kindergarten info night. This is our first one. So I was telling Anthony last night, like it feels like we're like legit parents. Like we're going to an info parent night. They said parents only, no kids. So my parents are coming over to watch all three kids for the first time. So hopefully Avery is good. Yeah, Anthony and I are gonna go and I guess learn about kindergarten. I know that we can make uh, our preference known on whether we want Grayson to be in the AM or PM kindergarten. So where we are in Columbus, most Columbus schools, just do half day kindergarten, which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. So I'm gonna try to get him in the morning kindergarten just cause he does morning preschool now and he does pretty good with it. Yeah, I'll see if I can record any of it. It'll be interesting. I wonder if there, I think there'll be like a lot of people there cause it's kindergarten. I don't know. I really don't know what to expect. So it's just an hour from 6.30 to 7.30 tonight. So we'll see how it goes, but for now we're just kind of hanging out, playing, chilling. <laughs> Avery was so good last night. She gave me two long stretches. I fed her at like 10 last night, and then she slept till 4 a.m., and then didn't wake up again until 8 a.m. So it's so not like her. Usually she's up like every two, two and a half, three hours at night. But last night she gave me good stretches. I want to say I hope she does it again tonight, but she probably won't. She'll probably be back to her waking every two hours. But last night was really, really nice. 
having those long stretches. She's still an angel baby. Um, she was having a little bit of fit. We keep her up from seven to nine every night and I think she's starting to get a little bit into that um, witching hour because she was just not happy. I was trying to feed her, she wasn't happy. I was trying to burp her, she wasn't happy. Walk her around, she wasn't happy. But it was only like, it only lasted for like an hour and then she was fine. <laughs> Other than that, she mostly just is chill or sleeps. <laughs> Say hi, Porter. Oh, 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 what are you doing? Are you being silly? Porter just woke up from his nap. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Who's on your shirt? Goofy. Goofy? Oh, wow. <laughs> so, it's the next day. I didn't end up recording at all when we went to Grayson's um, kindergarten open house. It was packed with people. It would have been weird if I would have like brought my phone out. But it was really good. We learned all about kindergarten. Basically, we learned that Grayson's going to be very advanced for the kindergarten because what they focus on is like letters and letter sounds and things like that and Gray's already reading so he's gonna be way advanced on that and then uh, they have kindergarten screen days coming up in the summer and then like phase in days and all that stuff so I've already got him signed up for all of that um, I did mark my preferences am kindergarten so hopefully he will get that morning kindergarten we'll see but yeah it was really good we got to see there's two kindergarten classrooms he could be in either one they both look super cute they've got the tiniest little chairs they have their individual like their own bathroom so they don't have to go in the school bathrooms with all the other kids they get their own bathrooms the tiniest little potty ever super cute and yeah it was just good to go my parents watched all three kids um, so that was good and I was away from Avery for like two hours and we both survived. She was very hungry when I came home though even though my parents had a bottle and breast milk that I had pumped she wanted me which is totally fine. So that was exciting and now it's the next day and it's actually like midday. It's like Mama. three past midday I guess. Yeah. It's like three now and so I think we're gonna go outside for a little bit. It's like beautiful out. It's supposed to be beautiful today and tomorrow and then rain and get cold again. So we gotta live up these two days and I swear we have something like every day this week. So today is Wednesday and Grayson has his art show today. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. His preschool's having an art show open house from five to seven tonight. I'm not sure how many art pieces are going to be out there that he's made. I, I honestly have no idea what the details are. I just know it's an open house and it's from 5 to 7. So we're going to go right when it starts at 5 because Anthony has something with his friends later on. But we're going to go take the whole family and go check it out. So I'm interested to see what what it is. This is like the first art show that his preschool has done that I've been invited to. Last year they didn't do one because I think we were still coming out of COVID so they didn't do like a lot of the in-person events so I have no idea what to expect but Grayson has been so pumped about this art show. To tell you the truth, you want to get down? Remember you gotta get on your belly. To tell you the truth, I wasn't even thinking we were gonna go to this art show. Like I don't know, I just didn't think I just I don't like art I'm not good at art but Grayson has been like so excited for this has been like asking every day if it's art show day and then all day today like if it's time to go to the art show so I can't not go so we're gonna go and like give him attention and like pump him up and he's super excited for it so um i will record a little bit hopefully <laughs> when we go to this art show we're gonna take avery and the whole family so um hopefully we do well <laughs> but yeah that is on our plate today so i'll record a little bit when we go outside we did some yard work yesterday which was good some weeding <coughs> Um, we have so many weeds in our mulch. And then Anthony was um, digging out some dandelions and we need to mow one of these days. So it's just been, that was good. And now I think we're just gonna relax more today and just kind of go on a walk. <laughs> we made it to the park. Porter can do the big slide all by himself now.
Yep, I'm gonna catch you at the bottom. It's her party time. She's got about half hour left. And she really likes this elephant that Anthony's parents got her. It crinkles. And she just locks onto it. And she loves it. Huh? She's just being chill baby tonight though. Huh? We're just hanging out. We're watching Survivor. I love my reality TV shows, and she's watching her elephant friend. Huh. It's fun. As she's gotten a little older, I've seen her, like, focus in on things instead of her eyes just going every which way. I mean, they still go every which way, but for longer periods of time, she's able to focus now, which is super fun. We are back, obviously, from the art show. I got that little clip and then a picture of gray in front of his artwork they had a bunch of artwork all over the school it was really cute gray like did like a self drawing of himself which was like totally off anatomically it was hilarious and then he did like a drawing of a of a sun and flowers and then he did like a painting of a cloud in the sky and then the bunny with the carrot so he was so excited for it to be about him and to show us his artwork and his school and it was fun because anthony and porter got to see grayson's classroom they had never seen it before and so it was really cool for them to see the school see where he is even though he's got like less than a month left but it was fun just for it to be all about grayson but we are back anthony's out with his friends i'm all home alone with the babies for like the first time i want to say this is the first time which, like, what, Avery will be three weeks tomorrow. So that's actually pretty good. And so I did bedtime by myself for the first time, and I actually did really good. It helps that Avery's such a chill baby. I mean, she cries here and there, but for the most part, she's pretty chill. So that was good, and now we're just trying to make it to nine. <laughs> and then I'll swaddle her. She loves being swaddled, and then she'll go to bed. The past two nights, Avery has given me huge stretches of sleep. I'll feed her about ten... And then she'll make it until 4 a.m. And then again until 8 a.m. That's been the past two nights. Before that, it was like up every two, two and a half, three hours. So we'll see how tonight goes. If that continues or she gets up every hour or so again, 
We'll see, but she's been doing much better at night. I don't know if it's the seven to nine wake time helping or she's just getting more in her belly. I really don't know, but I don't care. <laughs> I love sleeping. My boobs don't love it because I wake up at 4 a.m. more rested, but my boobs are killing me because they've been like so full, but that's okay. But anyway, I think I'm going to close this vlog out. Sorry, it's mostly just been me talking. It's hard to get the camera out with three kids now. Um, but I'm going to pick up the camera tomorrow and start a new vlog. We are going to go to my parents' house. My mom called a mandatory meeting. We're going to do family pictures. My mom doesn't have any like family pictures of all of us with Avery now that she's here. And then my sister, Allison, I don't know if I told you guys, she's expecting. I think I did. Yeah, she's expecting, um, and they found out the gender, so they're going to tell us all what the gender is tomorrow, so I will definitely record that. She said she got a cake, I think, and so inside it's going to be blue or pink. Be super fun if she had a girl, because her baby and my baby are going to be like seven months apart, so that would be so fun if they were both girls and they could be like BFFs, but if it's a boy, that's totally cool too, because he could just romp with my older boys once he gets bigger, so super excited to find out what that's going to be so i will definitely pull out the camera tomorrow but i'm gonna go because avery's getting grumpy probably need to go and walk around with her and the commercial is over for survivor so i need to turn the show back on so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye say bye say bye bye love you bye bye say bye felix